Woman wakes up from coma, then she writes a spine-chilling message. Woman wakes up from coma, then she writes a spine-chilling message. Many people go through this life asking what will happen once we are no longer here. Therefore, one big question is always floating around is there an afterlife? Since the beginning of time, people have tried to solve the secret of life and the afterlife, but as we all know, no one has succeeded until maybe today. A woman named Tina Hines claims she had a glimpse of the afterlife, and after reading her story you might be convinced that it exists. Routine. Our lives are not always promised, so we should take advantage of every given moment. Somehow, we are convinced that tomorrow will always come, but what if it doesn't? If you were told that there is no tomorrow, what would you do differently today? Sadly, many people's lives are ended abruptly without any type of warning, but some people are blessed enough to get a second chance at life. They survive the most insane things and come back better and stronger than ever. Tina Hines is one of the fortunate people who can literally say that she came back from the dead. Her story is scary and encouraging at the same time, and it will show us that miracles are possible. She witnessed one, and she wants everyone to know about it. Until February 2018 Tina led a pretty normal family life. She enjoyed spending her time with her husband and four kids. They lived day by day, not knowing that their world would soon turn upside down. But none of us ever expect that, right? The majority of us go through life completely unaware that we can lose everything in the blink of an eye. Tina and her husband Brian are the embodiment of true love. They first met at California's Biola University. It was love at first sight, and shortly after the couple got married. Just a few days ago, they celebrated their 32nd anniversary. Tina says that life with Brian is full of laughs, miracles, and dear memories. Their lives really are special, and you are about to find out why. After getting married, Tina and Brian decided to move to Phoenix, Arizona, where they bought a new home. During the years they were blessed with four children, and they thought that nothing could destroy their happiness. Their family life was pitch perfect until one Monday when their world was turned upside down. Everything was supposed to be normal, but it was quite the opposite. On that crucial Monday, Tina and Brian went for a walk, just like they usually did. There was nothing out of the ordinary, and the married couple didn't have any reason to worry about anything. While walking, their friend Jeff called them and told them that he would come and visit them at their house. So, Tina and Brian headed home to see him. One moment everything was normal, they were talking to their friend and having fun. Then all of a sudden, something horrifying happened. Jeff recalls, Tina and I were standing shoulder to shoulder one second, but the next second Tina had fallen virtually straight face forward. Sadly, that wasn't just a plain fall, and Jeff realized that instantly. Luckily, he reacted fast and yelled to Brian to call for help. Brian called 911 immediately and explained what had happened to Tina. Brian was scared, but more than anything he wanted to help his wife. The emergency call handler told him that his wife needed chest compression straight away. They had no time to waste. Sadly, neither Brian nor Jeff had any prior medical knowledge, but they tried to follow instructions to the best of their abilities. While talking on the phone, Brian was telling Jeff what to do. Jeff started to push down on Tina's chest, giving his all to keep her alive. But whatever Jess was trying wasn't working, so Brian had to step in. Now, it was up to him to save his wife's life. The pressure was on. He continued pushing as hard as he could until the medics arrived. What made things even worse, especially for Brian, was the fact that their 14-year-old daughter Tatum was in the house as well. Brian kept telling her to stay away, because he didn't want her to see her mom in that condition. Tatum told her dad to stay calm and that everything would be fine. Tatum's cool-headedness allowed Brian to stay focused. The first people to arrive were the firemen. Brian stepped away and allowed them to do their thing. They strapped Tina on a gurney and drove her to the hospital. On the way there they gave her five electric shocks in order to get her heart going again. One of the firefighters who was fighting for Tina's life was Joe Sandam, the man to whom they will forever be grateful. Later on, firefighters said that when they arrived everything was very chaotic. One of them recalled that she had blood on her face and in her mouth because she had bitten her tongue. 
Also, they were sure that she was still alive, because Brian performed chest compressions before they arrived via the phone instructions. The firefighters said that Brian had followed the instructions better than most people would. The ambulance ride to the hospital was very difficult because the team kept losing Tina. Her heart was weak, and no one knew if she would survive. February 12th was a nightmare for both Tina and her family because they were scared of losing their beloved wife and mother. There was nothing they could do but wait and hope that she would get better. It is human nature to look for support, especially when we are going through a tough time, and Brian is no exception. He was helpless, so he decided to do the only thing he could. To pray. He turned to God, and all he wanted was for his wife to recover. Nothing else was important, and he only had one wish. He couldn't imagine losing his soulmate the woman he loved the most. Brian said that he had made a deal with God. I told God if he gave me Tina back, then he could take anything else. He was ready to say goodbye to all material things because none of that mattered if Tina wasn't there. Brian started observing life differently, and at that moment, he realized what was really important, human life. Meanwhile, back in her hospital room, Tina was fighting for her life. Also, something shocking happened for 27 long minutes, Tina was effectively dead, and doctors weren't sure if she would be able to survive. But, to the surprise of many, after those 27 minutes, she woke up. She was very much alive and ready to share incredible news. Once he heard that Tina was awake, Brian couldn't help but wonder if it was God's doing. He was sure that his prayers were answered, and that Tina's survival was a big miracle, and he couldn't be happier. But Brian wasn't the only one who was thinking about divine forces. One more person was convinced that someone from above had saved her life. That was no other than Tina herself. After waking up, she was intubated and unable to speak so the first thing she did was to ask for a pen and a piece of paper. She had to write something as soon as possible and show that message to her husband. Tina wrote vaguely a few words that left Brian and the rest of their family puzzled. They couldn't understand what Tina was trying to tell them. As you can see this message was very unclear and hard to read. Tina's family tried to ask her what she was trying to tell them, but all she managed to do was to point with her finger upwards, referring to heaven. After that, they somehow succeeded in cracking her message it said it's real. Just that. When she was finally able to speak, Tina explained why she wrote that in such a hurry. Sadly, many people are not that lucky to survive a heart attack. Even though she was gone for 27 minutes, Tina succeeded to get back to real life and be with her family again. But those 27 minutes were the strangest moments in Tina's life. During that time, she experienced something that the majority of people would never live to tell. She couldn't wait to get better and share her story with everyone. Therefore, as soon as she was capable of talking, she revealed to everyone what was happening during those 27 minutes. Tina said that while she was unconscious, she had witnessed something unimaginable. Even today Tina strongly believes that she had an afterlife experience. She has no doubt that on that day she saw a little piece of heaven, and that everything was so real, and that the colors were so vibrant. But that wasn't the whole story. Tina also said the light that she saw was bright yellow, almost like the sun. Within those yellow rays, Tina saw Jesus who stood before black gates. She was sure that she had to tell what happened as soon as she woke up, therefore she wrote that note. She didn't want to ever forget that life-changing experience, and that note will remind her of it forever. Brian and Tina were sure that his prayers and her vision were connected, and that God really saved her life. They believed that even though going through a heart attack was extremely difficult, it was also an amazing lesson that changed their lives forever. They began to value life more than ever, and they knew that the one thing they never could lose was their faith. After the heart attack, Tina was doing well, but had to use a defibrillator and pacemaker. Still, she was happy to be alive and couldn't wait to enjoy life with her kids and husband. Both Brian and Tina knew that they had to do some good and help others who were going through similar problems. Therefore, they became spokespeople for the American Heart Association. The American Heart Association is a non-profit organization that funds cardiovascular medical research and educates people on healthy living. Their goal is to inform people about heart diseases and stroke, 
and to try to reduce death caused by it. They offer a lot of information and support which can save your life or the life of someone you love. This organization is the leading funder of heart disease and stroke research outside of the federal government. On their website, you can learn more about heart attack and stroke symptoms, but also find many useful topics about a healthy lifestyle. So, it comes as no surprise that Tina and Brian decided to support this amazing organization because they strongly believe that it can help everyone who is dealing with severe health problems. Also, as Tina's story started to become popular people had many questions for her. What actually happened during those 27 minutes when Tina was in a coma? Did she really travel to heaven and then return to share an important message with all of us? Or maybe something else happened? People wanted an answer that made more sense and could actually be scientifically proven. Was it a vision or just a normal body process that could be explained? Tina isn't the only one who claims that she had an afterlife experience during which she caught a glimpse of divine power. Many people who almost died are sure that God has saved them. They believe that they saw their lives flash before their eyes and had a sudden sense of clarity. Yet, is that really what happened, we cannot be sure. We can only believe them or think that none of what they are saying is true. Scientists believe that the phenomenon of a near-death experience is not possible. According to them, the brain is very delicate, therefore it is not strange that people who had severe trauma claim they had strange experiences. During that time people have a sense of peace. Some even have visions of the future and a sense of leaving their physical bodies. Modern science says that there is a big possibility that people who are dying hold on to consciousness, and that if blood still runs through the brain, people can still hear voices and see lights. Later on, they confused that with an afterlife experience. The National Health Service said, the existence of an afterlife remains a matter of belief, not scientific proof. Many people who believe that they have briefly died have shared their experiences. A man who also suffered a heart attack and survived claims that he has met his maker. One woman believes that she saw an eternity of nothingness. Another woman is convinced that she had found evidence of an afterlife, her future, and of reincarnation. So, what do you think? Can they all be telling the truth? Is there really a life after death? No one can guarantee it. But, for sure, Tina's story has made us think about it. How can we believe in something that is not proven? But on the other hand, do we really have to have proof for everything? Maybe we can believe in something, even if we cannot see it with our own eyes. But we have to admit, that is not always easy. Maybe we should always keep our minds open. You never know what you can learn during this long journey called life. It is full of surprises, and maybe just like Tina, we can experience something when we least expect it. None of us know what the future holds, but we should be ready to accept anything and embrace it with a smile. Just like many who got a second chance for life, Tina decided to live every next day to the fullest. She is grateful for the new opportunity and doesn't want to waste it. She has fulfilled her life with gratitude, love, happiness, and of course faith. Tina says that she finds incredible joy in being with people. Maybe we should all do the same. Follow her footsteps and surround ourselves with people we love, and make us smile from ear to ear. Although no one can ever tell whether Tina's story is real, she for sure is an inspiration for many people, and her experience gives them hope. One thing is for sure she is an amazing role model, and we should all try to look at everything from the bright side, just like Tina does. Also, it is an amazing reminder that there is nothing more important than our health, and that we should cherish it the best way possible. We only live once or maybe even more than that, so we should enjoy the ride.